Hey Wild Bunch, it's Wild Down Twos and thank you for joining my channel. Have you guys ever got to a red light and you sat there and it cycled once or twice and, you, and the sensors weren't picking up your bikes? What did you guys do? Well, we're going to go over a law called Dead Red Law and what states have it. Let's go. Hey everybody, I gotta watch these railroads. Yo, these are fun. One more. All right. So this is Wild Down Twos. Like I said, thank you for joining my channel. I do appreciate it. Uh, two things I wanna say before we get started. Number one, I have never worn a jacket, anything like this before. Normally I just wear a cut, some long sleeve flannel body with body armor. Uh, this is a Rex Alto mesh jacket with inner liner. I have a friend that uh, lives in Colorado and we're going to go, I guess I'm going to ride my bike up there for an adventure ride. He actually has an adventure bike, which I have not ridden before. And uh, he suggested for me to get something like this. So I'm just testing it out. Also, I want to give a shout out to a motor blogger named Fletch Dyna. He did a shout out for me a couple of weeks ago since I'm new uh, to motor blog. Uh, he has some interesting concept, I mean, I mean content. Uh, let me look around okay and uh he's out of singapore and uh, from his about page i can read that is this, this channel is basically a motor vlog of reviews he does ride a harley a 2016 dyna street bob it does he does cover ride events reviews new gadgets drone videography dealership walkthroughs tips on riding and motorcycle maintenance and anything related to the motorcycle culture uh he has a cool video too of uh, taking a ride out to singapore i mean not singapore thailand so you go check them out. It's Fletch Dyna. So let's get started. This week's episode is basically how dead red laws let motorcycles run red lights legally. I'm going to be coming to a stop sign. If your state has a dead red law, you can run it legally. At the end of the video, I will put out a list actually of 20 states that have the law and description of how to proceed. The last I checked, I think there was 20 states now that have the law that allows motorcyclists, look around, uh, to run the light legally. If they have been stopped at basically at the intersection for a period of time, each state is different and some are oddly very unspecific about the time period, and while others, let me go down, others, uh, rules are very clear. For example, Colorado says, allowed, you're allowed to proceed as if it's a four-way stop. And then you have Oregon who says, quote unquote, proceed with caution after one full cycle of the light signal. Then you have Utah, after 90 seconds of waiting, you can take off. So you gotta get an understanding how these sensors really work. Nowadays there's two kinds of sensors. You have the over pavement, uh, pavement sensors. These sensors include motion sensing cameras, lasers, and infrared fields. Uh, the over pavement sensors are designed to see basically the vehicle reach a certain point at the intersection, and they're often very good at picking up small vehicles like motorcycles, bicyclists, and scooters. Where the problem lies is the in pavement sensors. These sensors are typically the corporate when it comes to dead red lights for us. In pavement sensors usually rely on vehicles like the weight, the metal mass to trigger the scale of the mag or the magnet. It's basically a big metal detector. You can sometimes tell if the in pavement sensors have been added to a road because the asphalt has been cut into circles or square. Beneath that slab of the asphalt lies a sensor that is stumbling ignores your bike. Now remember, the, the sensors do not work by measuring force. They are essentially just metal detectors and work exactly the same way as one of those people you see using a metal detector at the beach to find coins, rings, bottle caps, foil, gums, yeah, yeah, whatever. Now, even in the states where it's legal, you need to be very, very careful that you wait as long as possible before turning left across oncoming traffic when you're just sitting there at the light. If you do get hit, it will be your fault because you shouldn't have turned in the first place. That's why nearly every state with a dead red law requires requires us to come to a complete stop and proceed only when safe. Remember, it's our duty, our responsibility for our own safety. Don't, let, don't leave it in the hands of anybody else. Now, if you do live in a dead red law state, please do not abuse it. Just because you're sitting at the light, red light, doesn't mean it's dead. Give, it light, give the light plenty of time to turn green, because if you start messing with this law in other states, 
basically the state other states will think twice to pass the debt red law state <coughs> like texas okay so i need you know it'll be i think uh, this law is positive these laws are great for us because it puts us in charge of our own safety which is always best i mean it's always best way to ride you don't have to sit there and wait for the car to come up behind you to trigger a sensor it's also important that you don't have to figure out some crazy maneuver like turning right then making a u-turn and coming back around uh, just to get around traffic because that puts us uh, in a most more dangerous situation sometimes unfortunately not everyone sees it the same way non-bikers and cyclists have been the most vocally opposed as they don't understand this law they think it's a free pass for us to run red lights uh, but even if some other bikers find it needlessly risky another problem is that the lack of a uniformity in the laws they do vary widely in 30 states that don't allow this practice at all in addition many people don't even know this law exists i didn't know this law existed really it wasn't really taught to me at all i found out uh, not long ago uh, a friend of mine actually brought it up for me to make a uh, brought it up to me and then i researched it and i actually found all the information need to say the laws are here to help us they do seem to be spreading across the country more states uh, are proposing them uh, so what do you guys think should running a dead red law i mean dead red light on a motorcycle be legal in your state if it already is do you have any problems with it? let me know in the comment section right below i do appreciate you guys please like subscribe and hit the little bell for future notifications you guys have a wonderful day uh, next week, I think we're going to be going back to the MC uh, prospecting and uh, have some other cool videos coming out. So, see you next time, guys. God bless.